Hey folks, welcome back. I'm finally back from vacation, and we're going to get some more episodes recorded here. I didn't see too many comments from uh, previous videos. If I missed it, I apologize. But I, right now I've updated to the latest um, version, I believe it's 212 of Agrarian Sky. So I'm not sure what's changed, you know. There are several ID mismatches during the upgrade, so there might be something that's now different. We'll find out as we go. And I'm trying to catch up to speed with where we left off. Oh, wow. Okay, that's different. <laughs> Skyblock is no longer complete. What do we got here? Uh, we need a fluid duct and a servo. Do I just need to submit them, maybe? I'm sure I got this stuff around. If I gotta craft them, I'll craft them, that's fine. Oh, crafting task. Okay, so we need to craft a new one. And as, you know, if we can cover things that have changed or whatever, we'll work through it. And keep adapting. So let's see, we're gonna do that, and then as far as the, um... Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Huh. Should have looked up the recipe. Fluid. I'll pick fluid duct. And it's lead and copper. So let's throw this one off to here for now. Whoa. Okay. Copper. There we go. And one lead, please. Well, let's get that crafted. And then as far as servos, we're going to make another stack of them, because we're just going through them anyway. Uh, redstone and two glass. I do think... Uh, so, the other thing to take note of here is that a lot of those uh, episodes last week were pre-recorded because I was out on vacation. Yes, I had a wonderful time. Thank you for asking. And... That's, um, now that, you know, I'm back, we're going to catch up and do these a bit more on the real-time scale of things. I don't know where to go with that hard. I don't think I got any more quarters. Oh, we'll put it, we'll put it in our main chest here and, oh, look at that. I got four of them. Exactly. So let's do like that. Okay. And eat the heart. Okay, so what was next in here? What else is now missing? We need a librarian, a book binder. What is this? Book binder. Two pieces of paper and two string. I think we can manage that. Uh, string is going to be from back here. Wow, all my crafting tables are a mess. I do want to get uh, into applied energistics and get most of this stuff reorganized over the course of the next, um, oh, let's say, you know, a few episodes here. And, you yeah, know, we'll implement it as we go. We need a steam dynamo. I made one of those. They're kind of not useful in my current setup, but we'll do it again. Copper gear. Okay, so we're going to need copper. Uh, two iron. We're going to need one of these guys. I think that's everything. Oh no, it's a different kind of thing. Hang on. Oh. What uh, is this one? Two silver and some redstone. Okay. Give me some more redstone. Not even close to max. Wonderful. And we just craft it as faster. I think that's enough to craft this bad chicken. There we go. Oops. Hey. Where'd it go? Claim reward? 
Are we done with everything in here now? Back to 100%. Hell's Kitchen. Oh, there's new. Okay. So, bread. We're at 4,000 out of 10. Apple juice. Wait, what do they call it? Age juice. We need 10,000 vinegar still. That one's good. Oppressor. Well, we'll come back to that one. All right, where else were we here? Let's just go through and make sure anything that we were, had worked on, um, we can now do. Oh, look at, whoa. Ah. If you turn to the exit tab of your Thamanomicon, you will find research for creating a lovely sapling. Oh, so remember last time I was trying to figure out how to get to the different trees. Let's see. So it says go to the Thamanomicon. Zombie. Huh, I wonder what I do. Oh, it's probably out by my Thomcraft stuff. Somewhere here. Do you remember, I was trying to get to the stuff. Oh. For playing, though, there's no shame in using it in the normal world. Here in the lands, the lands of the Thalmic Shards are hard to come by, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there. You need 12 to make 6. Uh, what? Yeah, so that's sandstone, sandstone slabs. It tells you that, it told us that in a different quest earlier. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I need to get more aspects, basically. Oh, so you can make totems. I don't know where I'm going to get more magic from. That's part of my problem. Maybe there's stuff I haven't scanned yet. Quite possibly. Alright, anyway, let's put the hearts away. We got some bags to open. Oops. And I got a cobblestone slab from somewhere I must have clicked. Throw that away. Let's make it daytime. Kind of clean up our inventory for just a split second here. Okay, we'll put the iron away and the copper away. Kind of wondering where I got all the oak saplings from, but hey. Are we... Oh, we got plenty of room there. That'll work. Chest. No, jumping out of things. Here we go. We really got a mini zombie baby here? Hey there, dude. Why aren't you burning? Where's my wand? <laughs> One way to fill up the wand. Uh, let's open up the bags, I think. Oh, wait, we got two more of these guys to get rid of. And the dolly can go right here. Gotta clean up everything. Oh, another boat. Okay, oh, there's some kind of new reward window there I didn't just notice and didn't read. Okay. So we got some lettuce seeds. 
We'll put those up top. Oh, I got plenty of lettuce seeds. And a crazy boat with an enchant. We'll throw that in, uh... Oh, see, there's another one of them boats. I wonder if they stack. Good. I'll put the lettuce seeds out by our farm here. Let's check how this is doing. So toast, I've probably got close to enough to finish that quest anyway. Uh, let's do some quick math here. Hang on. Open up Hell's Kitchen. We're at 43, so I need 5,700 or thereabouts. Oh, we're, we're within 30. Let's get a quest delivery system here. And, uh, do I got one that's not being used? How are we doing on, like, ice and that? Our wool is building up nicely. Oh, that power cell must have run out. Sewage. Glacier's 100% complete. Oh, nice. So, for the hoarding. Gla oh, look at that. We can claim that reward. Oh, pick one. We'll go with the left there. Uh, black seared bricks. Oh, we only need 100 of those? I probably got that now. We're done with the wood at 100,000. Very good. I should probably check on the rest of these. Okay, oh. Oh yeah, okay, lots of new stuff. I haven't touched bees yet. Steel, I don't want to look at it just yet. So we can take this QDS and we'll repurpose it. Oh, look at that, three hearts to eat up. Let's eat that while we're running. Thirty-one lives. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put that thing down here. Actually, I might not even need it. To be fair, I just start pulling out stacks till I can't hold no more. And I can just probably manually submit this just as fast. 61 to, yeah, no. Let's go get some stuff. We got a crazy axe here. Flux infused. We'll put that away for later. Where was I putting tools? Over here somewhere? So an axe we can recharge is what that flux infused is. Give me a servo and some item ducts. See, what'll be nice is if I manage to actually get all of this into an applied energistic system, we can put a lot of the auto crafting into play here. So now first we have to link, select this task, but link it to there. And then I can servo this guy. Like so. Rotate it and then turn it on and it'll feed way faster than we can do it. We're very, we're very, very close on this. Basically what it amounts to. And I can go back and get our other barrel here for bread and let it cook up a whole other batch for us to work with. Oh, we got some, we got a bunch of toast right here even. Huh. Okay, come on, Deli. Take. What did we grab? That's kind of weird behavior. Oh, look at that. The two bags are identical and they stack now. But we're backlog we're backlogging on wheat, I can tell that already, so what we're gonna do is just convert a bunch of it straight away into bread. 
How are we doing over here on wheat? Almost maxed out, huh? So that's another, that's another way we get toast faster. I'm not able to handle or keep up with production at this point. It's kind of nice when you can backlog to that degree. But we'll, then we'll carry this barrel back over and let it process and we'll probably have just enough to finish uh, the quest off. So if there's something in particular you guys want me to stare at here, leave a comment, let me know, send me a message, all the usual forms of communication, and we'll get it done. So, you know, there's a fair amount of bread to um, be processed. Oh, did, does the QDS not linked? Or did we finish? Oh, we're done. Okay. Look at that. We made all of our toast already. Hey. I still got something that's kind of laggy here, so I'm not sure what that's all about. So we completed toast. That's really good means we could probably nick some of the wheat production we have going on here. Okay, let's take that back over and let it produce more bread, more toast for us for later. I don't, I thought there was something else that used it. I can't really remember offhand. We'll put the blank QDS here. We'll claim our reward. We'll go with the left one. We'll eat the heart, and now I got three bags to go through. Four. I got a grater and three epic bags. So the grater, we got some meatballs, epic number one, and var shears. Epic number two, holy Batman. Oh, where's that filing cabinet? I had a filing cabinet full of these from our mob spawner out back. And just added some more. Because why not? Here we go. Put the Envar shears away for later. Oops. Let's go for the tool chest though. And one more epic bag. Whoa, this is nice. That much blazing pyrothium? That's hot. <laughs> Pun intended. Oops. Let's see, do I got spaghetti and meatballs anywhere? Yep, there they are. Okay, now. Back to questing. So what else is on the list here? So we got uh, aged juice. Vinegar, are we close? We we're doing it with strawberries, so what I might be tempted to do here... Oh, how's our tomatoes doing? We had tomatoes being produced. I don't quite know where that left off. Let's go see. Are we getting crazy amounts? Yet? Oh, let's see. So what I'm expecting to have happen here is this should have backlogged with tomatoes. And this should be filled up on tomato seeds. Well, let's make it daytime. Where'd my... There we go. And tomatoes should be flowing down yonder. So I forget how many we needed. Tomatoes. We need 10,000 of them. So we're just starting a collection point for that. So I could probably turn one of these things into lettuce at this point. How are we doing on the lettuce front? Not nearly good enough. 
So let's get a uh, cyclic assembler and do that whole pattern set up like we had before. For the tomatoes, we'll get a lettuce one going. So I'm going to get some extra, we got extra piping, I got some servos here. And I need assembler. I'm going to need a pattern, or a schematic it's called. And let's see. What else? I could use a stack of cobble for this. Or anything. Well, you, actually, I use a stack of those guys just to fill up excess space. And then we'll head down there and adjust, like, one of the farms. Let's see. How about this one? Because it's closest. All right, so for you, sir, we are going to break this for right now. I want this guy in here, and I only want you to accept lettuce. So now I want you to whitelist lettuce. There we go, and ignore redstone. And then we need some piping to go underneath. Oh wait, we'll have to go around the front here in a minute. I'll need a redstone energy conduit for this bad chicken. And stop putting wheat into there and bread and all that. That's silly. That should be no connection whatsoever and then our schematic is going to be let's turn off any eye it's going to be one lettuce get you a lettuce seed craft and i want you to accept input from that side and i want you to output the back and i want you to do like so Oops, put oh, one more there. Here we go. And all that can sit there. So then I just need a power conduit and I need to wrap stuff around the front. Let me get that extra power conduit quickly. One of these days I'll start putting roads around the base so we can start uh, navigating a bit more quickly. And then we'll go back into, once I get that started up folks, we'll go back into um, figuring out how to get that great wood tree. And with seared, oh I could probably turn in the seared stone quest too it looks like, I think that was only a hundred or something. Instead, maybe it was like 10,000 before, I don't remember. Okay, so there's our power. That converted all of that into there. With the, um... With this guy. I want you to do that. And I only want to keep one stack of seeds in here. I want backlog to happen as fast as possible. Okay. And now I need this conduit and the wrench. We'll put one here like so, and then I'll de-wrench it. Like that, and like that, and we should be good to go. It'll start switching over to lettuce sooner than later. I'm gonna have to make some more hearty breakfast breakfasts. Um, given time here. These things are awesome for refilling hunger. And in fact, what I can do here is take and put uh, this stuff into a chest somewhere for sorting, and it'll put it to the right barrels and stuff for me now. And slowly but surely what'll happen is this farm will convert over to lettuce to speed up that production.
All right, so what was next up here? Let's just keep running through the random bits and things that we were working on. So tomatoes, uh, wait, wait a minute. Should I do one of those with tomatoes too, or are we close? 222, and I need, yeah, we should set up. Oh no, tomatoes are down the other end. I got that running now. That'll get there in a hurry. Lettuce will catch up sooner than later. All right, and Hell's Kitchen, whoops. Spaghetti meatballs, a thousand. What do we need for that? Sp Spaghetti? How do you spell it? S-P-A-G. Spaghetti, and sp so the regular spaghetti is a tomato, a spice leaf, I don't know where to get that. And pasta. That's dough, which is salt, wheat flour, water, and a mixing bowl. So we're going to need plenty more wheat still. So let's get and upgrade that wheat barrel right now. Just to house as much as we can. When there's backlog. Oops. Um, let's see, I'm going to want one of you, one of you, one of you, yeah, we'll go all the way to diamond, why not? Because we're producing, we're producing enough wheat that it'll get there in a hurry. But that way when I need it for something, I've actually got it. Okay, so then we're going to two, and then to three, then to four, 15 slots, and that should be five of these guys. And that'll hold uh, a thousand stacks of wheat. Wonderful. Okay, so lettuce is coming along. Oh, we got, wait, I got two things of tomatoes going on here? What? To what? Put that up there. Stop the madness. Lock is empty. Oh, uh, okay. Don't quite know how that happened. Something's not where it should be then. Okay. Well, we'll come back to it. Uh, what else do we have in our quest list? That's being worked on. Oh, surf and turf. We had the fish thing going. Leafy fish sandwich. Let's take a look at that. Leafy fish sandwich was lettuce plus a fish sandwich. Fish, bread, and mayo. I think I got loads of mayo somewhere here. How do we do on fish? I might need another power transfer thing for this, but we had the fisheries going. Oh, we're maxed out. Wonderful. Let's see about getting something set up here. Okay. So I got fish, I got mayo. Let's get a cyclic assembler for this, because it's sufficient. Whoa, aroma backup. What is that? Is that like the smelly backup or what? Oh, I'm gonna have to read, I guess I don't know what changed. Or maybe I triggered something. And let's go ahead and make it daytime here. I'm a big, in case you guys can't tell, I'm a big fan of the cyclic assemblers here just to craft 10,000 any recipe. You could do it with applied energetics, but I just don't have that infrastructure yet. 
Okay, so what did... So we needed the fish sandwich first. Fish. Sandwich. Uh, mayo, bread, and... Oh, don't cook all that bread yet. I actually want some of that. No. <laughs> Come on. Don't lag. That'll that'll cap out real fast. Well, how are you loose, dude? Goodbye. Alright. So I got power over here? Anywhere? That I can tap into for right now? Come on. Quit it. Oh, that's what was in here was bread. That's why it's their toast. That's why we're derped. Oh man, I bet you we got a chest full of toast. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, anyway. Uh, so we needed... How many of these fish sandwiches? We need a thousand. So I'm going to need a thousand fish sandwiches. Probably going to have to go make a skillet here. What else is in here? Mail. I need bread. And yeah. Let's go make a skillet quickly. Uh, two iron and a stick. Saw two, I saw iron there. And I saw a stick there. There we go. See, this is kind of the nice way, because then I can just dump in the ingredients and we'll get close-ish to a thousand. With lettuce, I might have just enough to finish it. Okay, let's turn off any eye and see if I can remember this. Oh, I'm going to need bread first. I think it's like this. Like this. Like this, and like this. Hopefully it ain't check oh check start doing your worst man oh and then we need a spot to output uh we get a barrel quick there's one Yeah, it's a little laggy, man. I don't know what uh, I got going on here, but I might have to trace that down a little later. This way we can tell when we're at a thousand. Just, that's the only way to craft. So let's grab a handful more each of these. There we go. It's been much easier if I organize my inventory, man. some bread in the mix. <laughs> Got 
Yep. The only way to fly. How are we doing? Are we close? More bread? I think we're there. Or we will be soon enough. And we'll probably have some extra leafy fish sandwiches to eat for the next couple ages. So I want like roughly two stacks of mayo and a stack of fish here. Just to kind of finish out what we got in the oven here, so to speak. Perfect. So now the next recipe is going to take all of those back out. And we'll put a bunch in. I need one bit of lettuce here. Well, let's see. Lettuce. I don't quite have a thousand yet. But we ought to be getting there soon enough. Lettuce plus that. Check. There we go. Hopefully we can, uh, what I can do is get our growth sigil and uh, encourage the lettuce to spawn a bit faster. Perhaps. So I think we need a thousand leafy fi uh, fish sandwiches to complete this. We should end up with a little extra. I made like, I forget, 1100. All right, let's get our growth sigil. Is I don't know where I left that. Over here. Okay. And since we upgraded this particular farm, this is what we want to force to grow in fast and get rid of all the wheat and convert to lettuce. And the growth sigil will do just that. That's the nice part about it. It really does have quite a nice tick rate. Oh, really? It's doing tomatoes here too that okay I guess the MBT thing is kind of funky I said lettuce and it's letting tomatoes in whatever what else eventually we'll get done with tomatoes Okay. Yeah, we gotta knock the tomatoes out of here before long. I can't have tomatoes coming into here. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, let's go figure that out. Uh, perhaps. I mean, it clearly has to do with this servo being slightly misconfigured. I'm going to say use MBT data so that we stop getting... I mean, it shouldn't be able to do tomatoes into here. That's ridiculous. Get the tomato seeds out. I only want lettuce into there, please. Let's uh, go ahead and put these tomato seeds away for now. A few extra seeds never hurt anybody, but I'm kind of 
time to trying to get establish a lettuce farm here. Give me those. Let's uh take as many lettuce seeds as we can get right now and just repopulate here. Come on. See, it still is letting in tomatoes. That's terrible. I don't know how to stop that. Do not use the R dictionary. Jesus. Stop with the tomatoes. Let's make this a red line then. Maybe encourage the tomatoes to go a different route. Because it's that means it's skipping the lettuce. And for right now, I'll put that into there. I'm just going to keep pulling out the tomato backlog. I only want lettuce going to here, man. There we go. Maybe that did the trick. Let's make it daytime. If not, we can just, you know, convert, flip the farms over as we go and kind of put up with it. Well, let's see. Hop up top, we'll turn on our growth thing and uh, go nuts. Trying to get it to redo lettuce all over the place. And get rid of the tomatoes. So many tomatoes. There we go. If it isn't lettuce, it doesn't belong. This is where applied energistics would come in handy, I'd hope, because maybe it could figure out the difference between tomato and lettuce seeds. Well, clearly I'm fighting a losing battle here. Come on, are you harvesting for me here? And it's just a little bit of, you know, get it caught through it. Oh, no, it's replanting a minute. Is it replanting tomatoes? I can't tell. I only want lettuce here, man. I'll harvest the lettuce and help you out. Keep on planting that lettuce, man.
I feel like we're not planting lettuce at all now. We still got tomatoes around? Nope, a couple. A couple, sorta, of, kinda. Maybe my growth sigil ran out of juice too, that could be. Looks like in my haste I did bang out a uh, lettuce somewhere along the line here. Alright, let's make sure we're actually getting lettuce seeds into there now. There we go. Oh, that could explain why. Oh, come on. Don't be silly now. That should give me plenty more. Yeah, that's looking way better. Let's go over here, and if, even if we got like a stack of lettuce, I want to convert it to seeds for the moment. Lettuce seeds, lettuce seeds. Yeah. Let's leave that be right there. Yep. And all of that will get consumed in just a minute here. Once it goes across the field a couple times. We should see the whole thing spawn in. Let's get rid of the tomato there. Yeah, see, there it goes. You see it planting rose lettuce right now. Let's see if we can't help it grow up a little bit. I might have to refill our blood magic pool too here. I'm not sure. But all of this lettuce is tremendously helpful. Let's go take a look at our blood magic pool. Oh, and then I needed a hundred of these guys. We're at 48, so that should be like two stacks, three stacks, let's see, QDS, or quest book rather, for the hoarding, seared blocks, cement, we're done, we'll take the middle bag this time, I'll put the rest of these back, we're up to 33 lives. And I'm kind of thinking I should uh, definitely put more juice into the blood magic pool. Where's my knef? Sacrificial knife is what I need. Uh, over here, maybe? I wonder what I did with that. Is that what it's still called? Maybe that's one of the things that changed. Uh, knife. Blood. Is it 
That was a dagger or something. Oh, well, let's go back through the quest book. Uh, you're a wizard, Steve, is where that was. Open. Uh. Choo -choo -choo. Blood alchemy. I don't know where that one was. Unless I do it just with the orb now, and not with the knife. That might be how. That's another way. Oh, and then if I do this, we're at 36,000. Let me take a few hits of the old uh, sacrificial bong here. We'll put that back into the altar. So I don't know how to get my old blood into there now. That might be a new mechanic. Ooh. No, oh, it's a whole, uh, wow. That's a whole, uh, forestry farm. We'll put that to use somewhere eventually. I think you can make mushroom farms out of those. You know, maybe to get mushroom soup or something. That's kind of a nifty reward. We'll put that on the side for a little later. So I got plenty of, uh juice to cook with there. I'll have to figure out what I did with my sacrificial knife. Oh, it's a, it, maybe it's an orb now? Is that what that dealio is? Let's make it daytime first. Let's get up here and see if that fills up the blood magic pool, then it just changed. Yeah, that's what it is. And then that goes in there and that'll fill it up that way. That's the more efficient way to do that. Okay. Let's go get a piece of toast to top off our hunger pool here. I don't really want to waste the uh, breakfast uh, sandwiches. Unless I got half a bar of hunger or more got missing. Woo. And then we'll have plenty of toast for later, but we should be getting lettuce relatively quickly now. Oh, I could have put that away. Whoops. Let's turn our growth sigil back on. And get this lettuce rock and roll in here. See, we're still not quite filled in all the way. We got a ways to go yet. But if we can get it grown in, that, you know, every little step helps with this. We just stand here for a minute, it'll all grow up and then get harvested very quickly. There we go. Plenty of lettuce. Seems like this growth thing ain't working quite as fast as it used to, but it's not uh, not terrible. There we go. Maybe you gotta turn it on and off once in a while. Okay. I'll have to look into this. Well, while we're standing here waiting for the lettuce to grow, let's look into this steel quest line. What's that all about? Uh, steel powered flight. Steel works. Now that you have a smeltery and some resources, 
you like, might be looking for more steel. It's nice. It's going to be needed if you want to advance, make advanced to Tycon tools. Okay. Pour molten seared stone over the materials ME book and a cast in table to make the steelwork guidebook. Okay. Well, so we don't quite want to auto output that stuff no more then. Let's let it build up some for us. We'll turn that on to high. And this should, uh, given a little bit of time, build this up some seared stone work to work with. Give me a casting table. And materials. And me. What? There's a materials in me book. There's a materials in you book. Oh, well, let's see if it shows it in the steel. Or over a regular book. <laughs> yep. Typo. Alright, let's put a book in there. Pour some stone on it. And we get a fancy new book to stare at. Whoa. If it doesn't get snatched out of us. Okay, let's go stand back by the lettuce and watch the flowers grow for just a couple more. Whoa, look at this. Well, we can submit it and complete the quest. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to pick, honestly. So, yellow rim. Dust. Where do I get that from? Tin and sulfur. That's kind of hard to get. Or, oh, well, we get that from our laser drill eventually. Okay. Or graveyard soil. That's dirt, leather, and bone meal. We're going to take the yellow rheum dust for that quest reward. Because the graveyard soil is easier to get. Okay, high, high oven hijinks. A high oven is the only thing that can turn iron into steel. It's made out of bricks covered in seared stone to hold in the high temperatures for refining steel. Follow the instructions in the Steelworks book to create the first blocks you need to make your first oven. To reach the temperature needed to create steel, high oven needs to be four blocks high. Place the controller at least one block higher than the bottom row and at least one block lower than the top row. Okay. Easy enough. Three Mile Island. Reactors are the perfect late game power source. Minor radiation shouldn't hurt anyone. To get started, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll get into that next time. And there's the aromas backup. Kind of wondering what that's all about. There we go. Send that lettuce around, plant some more pretty please. Let it grow in. Give us lettuce. We're going to finish our fish sandwich quest. And then we're going to wrap up the episode. Let's turn off our growth sigil over here. We're almost there. See what's hurting us right now is we're not getting... I don't know how lettuce is getting past. I really don't. Do I got a thousand? We're, we're like roughly three stacks out. Is lettuce like just not getting into here now at all? 
Oh, it's getting there. It's just taking forever to plant. Okay. I, I mean, we got a little touch-up period to go through, it looks like. And you know what else I should probably check out? I probably need to go to those tomato plants down yonder and t turn off the ore dictionary there as well because the lettuce will end up down at those assemblers. Hang on. Let's take care of those shenanigans. Do not use MBT, ignore the ore dictionary. That seemed to help. So that way we don't end up filling up down here too. Same on this guy. Ignore that. And use MBT. That way, let us, you know, one, once the farm fills up, we're good to go. This isn't going to bounce all over creation. And where are we at here? See, like, we got another row of tomatoes. We ended up with the row of tomatoes there, but that's okay. The lettuce will fill in and get her done. Let's, like, wait right here. I'm wondering if bone meal is affecting this stuff yet. All right, let's eat a hearty breakfast. Actually, let's get some bone meal and test it out. We got it right here. Why not? One, two, three, four. That could help us out too. Since we got the sprinklers right here, we can let them bone meal the uh, bone meal the crops. Help us out. And we'll put one here. Turn on our growth sigil, and uh, maybe, 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 maybe we'll get there faster. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think that is going faster now. Once we can get a full plant, a full field planted here of lettuce, then, uh, then we'll start getting high yield production. Let's let this area grow in because it looks kind of baby young still. I'm expecting much more lettuce to get planted over here before long. Yeah, see, look at that. That's a tremendous help right here. We'll stand in this area, get it grown in. And it looks like it's time to sleep it off. Okay, put that back there. Oh, we have a bag to open. We got Morby Decor Reward. Okay. Cloth slabs that look like stairs. Haha. <laughs> cool. Minor notation. Thingy Majig. Let's put that in our chest of weird shit I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. <laughs> okay. We got another uh, Steelworks book to go through. Thaumonomican can go there. You sure can go here. We'll put this other stuff away for posterity. Oh, we need to take a look at our uh, cobblestone situation too to see how close we're getting to that 43 million. These two dusts and bars we'll put over here because I don't know what to do with that yet. Clean up the inventory is always fairly important, guys. Got to keep on top of that. We'll uh, drop off our orb. We'll check on our cobble production to see how that's uh, working out. Oh, no. That should be over here. Like so. And then we're going to wrap up the episode. So we're at... 1.7 million.
and climbing. 40-something million to go. All right, folks. Until uh, next episode, thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you soon.